Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well out there. So uh, part of my discussion today is adventure boots. And um, I know I did recently a, a top five for if you're getting into adventure riding. And again, uh, not an expert at this. This is, these are things that I've gone through, uh, things that I've bought personally. And um, so give you an idea, I'm gonna go through these and obviously you can tell this is relatively brand new, but so for me, and I've bought, again, I bought a bunch of boots, they were good, but they, you know, I've, I've come to find out that, you know, these are, are pretty solid, uh, not only in the industry, a lot of people wear these, but uh, this is what I found to work best. Um, and again, I'm talking about adventure boots, I'm not talking about motocross boots, uh, I'm not going to talk about the Tech 7, Tech 10s, any of those things. Uh, a lot of those are water resistant, they're not waterproof, and I find that doing adventure riding, going through rivers, streams, uh, mud, any of that other stuff, you're going to want something that's waterproof uh, if you're doing adventure riding. So um, over here, I'm going to start on the outside here, over here, so this is the Forma boot, this is the Terra Evo, uh, this is their top end on the adventure boot. Um, it's got three buckles, very comfortable. I would tell you the Forma, um, out of all these boots, probably if you first step into a Forma, uh, very comfortable. It's almost like you've already worn them and broken them in. Now, I had a pair of these last year in brown and I would say that uh, when I rode for 12 hours in one of my segments, when I went out to the Badlands and stuff, uh, the boot did get a little damp on the inside and they say they're waterproof. Now they replaced it, so this is the new one. I've had no issues with this one, and uh, but uh, you can see I've, I've beat it up pretty good. Uh, it's got a nice protective up here. Um, pretty solid on the sides. Um, I would say probably, uh, I'd give it a medium, uh, you know, uh, probably a three and a half, four out of five, uh, if that was a rating system. Um, but uh, solid toe, uh, you know, sturdy bottom. So yeah, and you can walk around in these and so they're pretty pretty darn comfortable. What I do like is I like the three buckles here. Uh, so that makes it really super nice. And again, pretty stiff, pretty, uh, pretty good for an adventure boot. Uh, one thing that you probably will notice is that it's got a big toe. Um, it's, it's really a boot type finish, so uh, if you're going to be obviously on your shifting and stuff like that, you will have a, a little bit of trouble at first getting it under there. Um, I wear a size 12 and a half, so uh, these are all giants, so this is size, what, 47 uh, euro, um, and I wear a 13 in the US, so, uh, but anyway, so, um, great boot, nothing wrong with these at all, I think these are, I want to say $399, $339, somewhere in that neighborhood. I'll have the descriptions and everything for the links below, but uh, a solid boot, solid contender here, right? So um, next, I actually have, uh, these are the CDs. These are the Adventure 2 Gore-Tex. Um, out of all these boots up here, this is probably the easiest to do the toe shift, uh, you know, shifting just because the toe is not as boxed and as bulky um, as the others. I find this boot. This boot is at, is great too. Um, I was gonna say fantastic, I might as well say it's fantastic. But uh, um, so one thing, couple things different here. Um, it only has two buckles here. Um, it does have the Velcro up top. Um, so it does snap up there, you know, uh, do that. Um, so if you got big calves like I do, um, you know, it, it does, you know, just that way. I do kind of like uh, the three buckle system. Uh, again, uh, and I'll get into these boots, but this has a three buckle and I kind of like that a little bit. Uh, I feel like it gives a little bit more protection. Um, these are good, got good protection. I would say that um, not as good as probably the other three, um, at least in, in my opinion, uh, on the sides. Front okay, um, you know, not maybe as rough, uh, rugged as the others, um, but it's solid. Uh, I've never had any problems. I wore these. I actually have a pair of black ones. These are brown ones. Look like a suede. 
Uh, but I have the black ones, they're packed away already for Columbia. But um, at the end of the day, uh, great boot. Um, and then what's different about this than all three is that, and again, they're all waterproof, but this comes all the way to the top, the waterproofing. So as you can see here, this comes all the way to the top. Now, when I was showing you the Forma, you can see right here that the waterproofing only comes up to here. Big difference. And it goes for the same thing in these two boots uh, that uh, the CDs are the only ones that come all the way to the top for waterproof. So that is a big difference. So again, you, if you think about that, you know, the waterproofing comes up to here, waterproofing comes up to here. So if you're in, you know, water that's any more, you know, deeper than this, you're probably going to get your feet wet in these versus the CDs that go all the way to the top. So again, that's probably the reason why they don't have a buckle up here. Uh, but these are great boots, very comfortable, but they squeak. When you're walking them, you, you, you're not going to walk up behind anybody. They, they, they squeak on you. So recently, probably about four, four months or so ago, I bought the BMW, uh, their GS adventure boot. Now this is the cheapest one of all of them. So I think this one is 449. This is in the mid threes or so. Um, and this one was uh, 300 bucks at BMW, 299. So far, uh, they've been pretty rock solid. Um, they are extremely, around the ankle and the foot area, very well protected, and even on the front here. Um, they do have a three buckle uh, system, which I kind of like, uh, but again, as you can see, the waterproofing only comes up a little bit below the calf. Um, so uh, they still have protection, especially like here on the, in the side, they get, it's pretty firm. Ankles, great, um, very comfortable. Um, it is European size. So again, you're probably gonna go have to go up in a size. And yeah, uh, four, 47, so that's a 12 and a half, 47. So you always kind of go up a little bit, especially knowing the socks that you put on to wear these things. But uh, waterproof boots so far, been a little bit of water, no issues there, but a uh, little extra, you know, cover here, but very stiff, very solid boot. If you want something for $399, uh, that's a uh, pretty good value. I, I would not, you know, pass up uh, the boot from BMW. So this one, this is the Alpine Star Toucan. You can see that on the back there. Again, two buckle system, great buckle and, and latch, Velcro at the top, but again, waterproofing only up to here. So um, now, I really haven't worn these other than just, you know, basically getting on the bike, walked around them in the garage and, and, and a little bit. They are comfortable. Uh, they're not as comfortable as the Forma slipping on, um, not as comfortable at first as the CDs, but um, if I, as I've wore these for about a week now, just walking around in the garage and just trying to break them in, uh, they have become very comfortable. They also squeak a little bit, not as loud as the CDs. These do not squeak at all. So if you're gonna be trying to come up behind anybody walking, these two boots won't do it for you. So, um, but now this one, this one is, I, 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 it is a lot more bomb proof. Um, I would tell you that protection here in the shin, foot, uh, you know, the, the back here around the heel, uh, even they've got a brace here, back where the, you know, ankle and your Achilles is and stuff like that. Um, and it's pretty rigid on the side versus these others. These are all, other than, you know, I would say probably the Forma has the second best protection around your calf and ankle area and stuff like that. Uh, and then CD, then probably the BMW and then, but these are number one, I, I would have to say, it will be great um, to get into the wild with these, but so far, um, again, just popping on the bike and stuff like that. The toe is not as bulky as the Forma or the BMW boot, because the BMW boot is a little bit higher. Um, I find that it's very close to the CD. Uh, a little, maybe a little bit narrower on the front here just to get your foot up underneath. Um, but, you know, they're both very comparable on gear shifting. But uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, 
uh, you know, riding the Toucan. So at the end of the day, for adventure boots, waterproof is key, a good boots key. Um, and again, you can spend money all over the board. I've bought some cheaper Formas. I've bought, you know, really, I, I, I've only bought some, a couple of the waterproof, a uh, little bit less expensive on the Formas. They were great, don't get me wrong. But uh, what I found is that, you know, I needed a little bit more protection around the ankle, around the shin, that type of thing. Because if you've seen my videos, I do fall down. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, so again, solid solid contender here with the forma um the cd2 i have two pairs of them they're great so uh, again um for fashionistas and all my gear you gotta have black and a brown i mean come on you gotta color coordinate out there so uh and uh and then you know the bmw ones uh are pretty rock solid especially for the price entry at 299 and then the two cans now these are also the most expensive the alpine stars they're 500 bucks but I can see why, um, just because of the ruggedness, the durability. Um, and again, now waterproofing, CD probably the better one, just because, again, it goes all the way to the top versus the others are, you know, a little bit down further. So um, obviously you don't want to dump it in a river, but you know, you do make water crossings and stuff like that, and it does happen. I have been told by some guys that I ride with that if water get into this boot, it turns into a great bucket don't know if that's what you really want but that tells you how waterproof they are so uh um you know so yeah if you want a bucket um when you're out there and you you know need an extra bucket these are these shoes are probably do you well might not want to drink out of the bucket afterwards just just saying so uh um yeah uh again all great boots um again made the investment trying to try different things for you know not only his channel, but for myself, this is really what this is all about. It's, it's trying to figure out what's best out there. And I do ride these in some different uh, environments, uh, you know, so it'll be interesting because probably the Toucan and the CDs are the ones that I'll probably wear on long hauls or the bigger adventures that I take on, uh, probably locally or regionally, you know, I'll throw on the, on the Forma or the BMW and, and, um, you know, maybe take an extra, if I take an extra pair of boots when I'm trailering someplace, I might grab one or two extra pair just because, again, you never know when you do go in the water and you go below and you what, what your boots, you're going to wish you had a second pair of boots around uh, or something like that. So hopefully this was helpful, gives you guys just a little idea again, um, you know, price point, let's do this, price point, that's the cheapest. Then the uh, Forma, the CDs are here, and the two cans are here. So this is all in price right here. So going straight up the line, they're all waterproof. Uh, great choices, and um, I didn't. I don't have the Revit ones. I know there's people might have the Revit ones, but those were eight hundred and some dollars. And as much as I have overkill, and as much as I buy stuff, I just thought that that was a little bit ridiculous. But uh, that's just me, um, and I'm sure they're a great boot. But uh, again. This one is probably bomb proof compared to all the others. Then bomb proof would be second here, third, fourth, waterproof first. I would assume two cans could be really a tight second. The only reason why it'd be different is because it's lower. Uh, with experience of these two so far, they're probably even at number three and four. And uh, gear shift wise, these are probably gonna be your two easiest ones on the gear shift. A little bit bulkier in the toe. Uh, and then, but comfortability wise, this one's gonna fit perfect when you first put it on. Uh, from there, here, questionable so far, questionable a little bit so far. They're a little tight because they're a European cut. Uh, so, uh, but again, I wear a size 12 and a half, bigger guys, so g give you guys a little bit of uh, uh, knowledge there. So, all right, hopefully it's been helpful. Again, adventure boots. Uh, this is what I roll with. Uh, I think these are top, top end. Can't go wrong with either one of these pairs. And uh, hopefully, you know, let me know about, the, put some comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Again, I don't try any of the motocross boots or s some of the other stuff. These are kind of the, where I'm at. And I would love to hear, you know, some, some feedback on any of the comments that you have about maybe other boots that I don't have here or didn't talk about. So uh, thanks. 
appreciate it. Uh, again, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. Uh, doing fantastic. I'd love to get some more subscribers and uh, bring you more content. Hopefully it's uh, useful for you guys. So take care and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. That was fun. Hopefully you got caught some of that on the camera.